Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about why a flip flop have a setup time and hold time. So before going to the setup time and a hold time of flip flop, let us design a flip flop using two latches, a master and slave latch. So as you can see in the diagram over here, here is a setup of our latches where we will get a flip flop. So we have a negative latch and a positive latch. The input is given from a, a D and the output is taken at Q. Okay, the input of the positive latch is given to from the negative latch. Okay, so and the clock is inverted for the negative latch whereas it is not inverted for the positive latch. So this acts as a flip flop. This whole system has acts as a D flip flop. So let us look at the timing diagram of it and understand clearly. So, so I have taken a clock of a 50% duty cycle and given the input D as shown in the red color. Now let us draw the waveform for Q1. So as you know that it's a negative latch. That means it will be transparent whenever that's the negative level, negative level of the clock. So at this windows Q1 that that is the latch one will be transparent. So let us draw the waveform for Q1. So here you go. So as you can see this part is lying in this negative region. So this will be there and it will continue to the next negative region. Okay, here it will be C at zero. So it will be zero and it will continue till here. And at this negative region, as you can see, there's a high or in the input. There you go. So here we got our Q1. So this Q1 will be pass two positive latch. A positive latch will be acting as a transparent in positive region. That is when the clock is high in this regions, it will act as a transparent. So now let us draw a waveform for Q2 or output Q. So don't forget it will be active in this regions. Now let us draw it. So as you can see, this region starts over here. So it is high and it doesn't see low over here. So it will continue till the next positive region. And this in positive region, it is seeing low. So it will go lower here and continue till next positive region. In this positive region, it will be high again. So now, now this is Q. This is the output of the flip-flop. So is it acting as a flip-flop output? Let us check it. So we know that whenever the input is given, a flip-flop will be considered only at the edges. So at the positive edge, I'm considering a positive edge flip-flop, okay? So now the input is given, this D is given. So at this edge, okay, at this edge, it's high. So it will be going high in the output of a flip-flop okay and it will be high till the next pause edge so at this pause edge also it's low so it will go low and stay till the next pause edge at this pause edge, it's seeing high so it is going high I hope you have understood that it is working like a flip-flop the output of a Q2 and Q are similar so now let us discuss about the setup time and hold time. So let us consider a clock edge. So in this case, I'm considering a positive clock edge. So before a certain amount of time, if our input is, our input must be stable before this amount of time. So this time is called as a setup time. I hope you understand. Before this edge, we have a certain amount of time. Let's say X nanoseconds. So before x nanoseconds, our input must be stable and it should not change in this window. So this window is called as a setup time. So what's a hold? Hold is after the positive edge, we have a certain amount of time. This in this time, our input should not change. So that is hold time. Okay, you're getting it. So setup time before the clock edge, hold after the clock edge. So that's a simple principle. Now let us look why a setup time and a hold time is there in our flip-flop. So I have drawn the same diagram. 
just D and Q, not the intermediate diagrams of Q1 and Q2, okay? So here, in previous case, we have assumed that the propagation delay of latches is zero and inverter is zero. That means there was no delay, okay? As you can see, there was no delay. We have drawn the timing diagrams of this diagram without any consideration of the propagation delay. Now let us consider a propagation delay of two nanoseconds for each latch and one nanosecond for the inverter. So what will happen? What will happen if we consider the propagation delay? So let us look at the setup time. So why a setup time is occurring in a flip-flop? So as you can see over here, our latches are having two nanoseconds of propagation delay. So if we give the input at D, it will reach at Q1 after two nanoseconds. I hope this point is clear for you. So whenever we give the input D to after two nanoseconds, it will be latched at this latch and it will be given correctly for the ne next latch that is positive latch. So what if, if we don't give before two nanoseconds, if we give be just before one nanosecond, let us say our, this is two nanoseconds. And if we give our input D and not at before two nanoseconds, if we are giving at just one nanosecond before, what happens is that it will not propagate to Q, Q1. It will not propagate to Q1 in just required amount of time. At that time, our clock is also changing from pos negative to positive, that is from low to high. So as a result, we will capture zero at the Q1, not the one, okay? We will capture zero, even though we are giving, let us say I'm giving an input over here at one nanosecond. Uh, so negative latch will be on over here. That means it will be transparent. So, so what happens is, even though we are giving at this pause, at this just before one nanosecond, but it will consider whatever the values are just before this time, that is the, before the setup time. The reason is that the propagation delay of the latch is there. It is having two nanoseconds. So to propagate from this point to this point, it will take at least two nanoseconds. So the previous data will be considered. That means we will get the zero, not one, understand? We will get zero, not one. So that's the major drawback. So, at, so to uh, get the correct output, the correct output, we need to have a setup time. And now, why do we have a hold time? We have a hold time because of this clock. As you can see over here, whenever we are changing from low to high, what's happening is that our clock is being given to an inverter. So inverter takes one nanoseconds of time. So from transition of from low to high, okay? So this transition, it will take at least one nanosecond extra because of this propagation delay. So during that one nanoseconds, we should not change the input. If we change the input, our output will be going wrong. I hope you understood. So understand this. The propagation delay of this is the cause for the hole and the propagation delay of this latch is cause for the setup time. Okay. So if, if we are not having a, a negative, negative inverter, if the inverter is not there, then there will be no transition delay. As a result, we can change the input, but the inverter is there and we have a propagation delay of one nanosecond. So for an extra one nanosecond, we will be in the low condition. Okay, we will be in this low condition. As a result, whenever the input changes in this, in this uh, uh, negative, that means the low path, it will be transparent and will, then the output will change. As a result, we should not change in the this period after the one nanosecond it will minimum require one nanosecond i hope you understood so i hope you understood why a flip-flop does have a setup time and hold time so the main reason is the propagation delay of the latch and propagation delay of the uh, inverter which will be attached for the negative latch so as you can see before two nanoseconds we can send the data correctly and after two nano in between if we send at one nanosecond what's happening is i'm just recalling it it is 
we cannot we will not be able to transfer the data from D to Q1 as a result it will take the previous data so if we take the previous data what happens is we will be stuck at zero the previous data so now if we are considering for the whole so the transition from the low to high is happening just one nanosecond later okay even though the clock is shown over here I'm not able to represent it in a diagram I hope you can understand it okay even though the transition is from low to high will be after just one nanosecond so in this area it will be low for the negative latch so if we give the input suppose we give the input over here then the then it will pass on to the negative latch and the input will change over here so if in this input changes and this is this on this input will also change as a result your output will be wrong so don't forget so don't forget that we should not change input in setup time and hold time so that's the reason so we have setup time and hold time in flip-flop I hope you have benefited from this video so if you have some value if, if you this video added some value for you uh, please do like share and subscribe and I hope I know that I have just confused you a bit in this setup time and hold time but the if you watch it rewatch it you can understand it what I'm saying my point so thanks for watching and please do subscribe so that we can get connected and if you have any doubts please do comment I will respond within 24 hours and thanks for watching hope you have a great day